Is it possible that I not only found a Gerber knife that I like, but one that is coming in under $20? Yeah, yeah, I have. Let me tell you about it. I'm going to make this review very short because a lot of reviewers have already covered the Zilch. I personally have never had my hands on it. Starting with the specs, which are right here, I think the Zilch offers something that we don't usually see coming out of Gerber. We sometimes get good design, good execution, but then they cut corners on the worst thing. They, they, they make a great knife, but then the steel is too soft. This is an example where at least the price point matches everything. $19.00. You have an injection molded handle with an integrated backspacer, which is really kind of a clever design. Okay. You have an actual decent clip. I, I didn't even expect that. You have proper amount of lock bar access, really good ergonomics, an actual decent grind. What? You know, if Gerber continues to do this, we're going to have to start uh, raising the bar a little bit. No, seriously, this is actually quite good. It even has good detent, and to top it off, it has a fuller that allows you to reverse flip the knife. So multiple deployments, okay, multiple deployments, good ergonomics, decent grind. The one drawback with this knife is that it comes in a 7CR series stainless. So is that really a reason not to pick it up? No, I'm not so sure. I think it's actually pretty impressive, even with the 7CR at the $19 price point, which is what I picked it up on Amazon. And if I were to see this in the store, like if I were to go to Dick's Sporting Goods or some other location that carried Gerber products, and I were to pick this up for $20, I would feel like I just, you know, I just run the, won the lottery because the knives in the big box stores are so much more expensive. You're paying 50 or $60 for knives in the 8CR range, which is ludicrous to me. But when it comes to buying in physical locations, you're really quite limited on what you have available. So it's a decent offering at 19 even if you're comparing it to things online. But in physical stores, this is insanely good. So I don't really think I need to cover much more about this knife. Um, Gideon's Tactical did a great job actually testing this thing out. I highly recommend going check out his video. And uh, by the way, if you want the stats, we're just going to put them right here to kind of close things off. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a Gerber that I actually can get behind um, and would be a really good challenge uh, product. Like if we did a sub 100 EDC, this would be a very good consideration for the under $20 uh, knife. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't have much more to say. The Zilch, actually a good Gerber. Shocking. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you for your time. We'll talk again soon.